But God shows his love for us in that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. Today's memory verse comes from the book of Romans, chapter 5, verse 8. It is in the New Testament. Do you know how many uh, books are in the Bible? There are 66 books in the Bible, and 27 of those books are in the New Testament. God used Paul, the man that we have been learning about, to write the, um, to write the book our verse comes from. Paul was helping believers in Rome. So that's why the book is called Romans, because he was writing a letter to the Romans. Um, and he was writing it so that the people could understand what the Lord Jesus did. What Paul wrote hundreds of years ago is also true for you and me. Today, um, because it is still God's word, and it's true yesterday, today, and tomorrow. Let's read the verse from Romans chapter 5, verse 8, and kind of read it line by line. But God shows his love for us. Or in other versions, it says, but God commendeth his love towards us. Commendeth means um, shows. So God shows his love to us. God's love is different from any other love. It is everlasting. It has no beginning, no end. It's everlasting. It's forever. He will never stop loving you. And God knows everything about you because he made you. He's our creator. The second part says, while we were still sinners. God loved you before you loved him. He loves you even though you go against him sometimes and, we, and you sin. God still loves us. And finally, it says Christ died for us. Even though God knows all about your sin, he shows his love for you by sending Lord Jesus Christ, his perfect son, to die a painful death on a cross to take the punishment for our sins. But the story doesn't end there. Remember, on the third day, Jesus came back to life and he is alive in heaven today ruling as king. Even though you had sinned against God, Jesus, God's son, came and died for you. His love for you is amazing and incredible. Remember that as you study this week's memory verse.